What's up, everybody? This is Russ with RWG Research and uh, dot com. That is rwgresearch.com. Please go visit and share. Uh, but I wanted to tell you right now, this is an update. I have been extremely busy um, with a thousand different things instead of just like one thing. So um, that's why I haven't really posted a whole lot. Uh, cleaning out another area outside of my house so that I do not blow up my house. So I've been working on that, getting that all ready, setting up a lab there um, so that I can not blow up my house with hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, and plus all this other gases and stuff I'm playing with probably aren't real good to be in my house all the time. So I didn't want to do that. But I've got like 10 things right now to tell you. So just bear with me. I go through all of them. This Most of this... Yeah, all this pretty much has to do with the EPG system. And uh, again, I just want to say thank you for people who are um, or who have donated, whether it's their time, thoughts, um, you know, their money, their resources, all that stuff. You guys have been wonderful. And I've been trying to collaborate. All this stuff that I've been trying to uh, get together, and it's coming together very nicely. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the core. Let's start out with the core. Um, this is the core. I have the uh, small gauged wire primaries wrapped on here. Terrible lighting. Uh, all these wires are the outputs for those. There's five of these coils. And this is the, or going to be the output coils. Uh, they're the leads coming out for the other wire. I told you guys a while back I was taking about those transformers. Here they are. One, two, three, four. Four and five. So I got this running through my little cleaner upper deal. I usually run it through the rollers when I'm done. These are uh, guide rollers. Um, if you just look, Google like guide rollers, you'll probably find these things. And then you can just take some angle iron and make something like this up real easy. These are just bearings. Uh, and that's just so the wire doesn't get torn up when it comes through. I'm just using them as guides. Um, but that's it. Nothing special there. So you guys can build this pretty cool. Alright, so what I got, uh, I'm going to basically pull this wire through, and I'm going to wrap it up on the ear, and I'll have two sets of coils on here, um, and the main reason is because this core is so thick that I just don't have the room or the power to run amperage through these little bitty tiny coil of wire and uh, fully saturate this core. So this way I can actually multi-phase things if I want, I can, I can create... Um, you know, uh, what is it called? Waves within waves, or uh, I forgot what it's called, but I can do that. Modulate, that's what I'm talking about. I can modulate the signal, but on multiple wires and coils. So, there they are. Uh, pretty cool deal. The other bit of those transformers, that big heavy gauge wire, here it is. This is it. And there's quite a bit of it on there. This is pretty much one transformer. Um, here's after I took in this, taken this, and ran it through my straightener. It comes out like this. Yeah, nice. And then that's the red one, and that's the green one. I think some of you have seen that before. But there is the pile of heavy gauge wire. If I can use that for output on my EPG system, I'll do it. Um, pretty, pretty st stoked about that. Some heavy duty stuff. All right, next up on the line, the Arduino. There is my five coils, if you will. Um, I, I programmed some stuff and I got it working. And it was really easy to just create a pulse like this. This is in seconds because I didn't want to do milliseconds for now so that I can see what's going on. Then I'll change it down to the milliseconds. Um, I did have the LCD uh, display. I'm still working on that. And um, basically these are my each of my coils. Oh, Raw Bush has been uh, actually wrote most of this code but it was about the same thing I did except he was using integers and I should have done that when I started but I'm learning so uh, that's what I got basically hold this button which will be a switch and I can fire all five coils at once or I can fire them in a sequence um, and I can do anything above you know what you can think of this microprocessor will do it this is an Arduino I cannot pronounce that it's upside down for you all. But uh, there you go. So all coils and just a big old magnet or synchronized magnet. 
um, electromagnet, I should say. Again, it's going really slow, but this will run up into the 16, 16 megahertz, I think, is what this processor is running at. So I can get under that, somewhere around 12 or something like that. I think that's accurate, I believe. All right, next up on the line, my capacitor box. You all watched me blow up my capacitor, and it went through the wall right there. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome stuff, a hole in the wall. So I took the remaining two capacitors and built a wooden box here and uh, can encase them. If you guys see a problem with high voltage being on this wood, uh, let me know. This is MDF, me, uh, medium density fiberboard. You can see what it looks like there. Um, but I think it's a pretty good insulator. I think it'll be alright. These are in, uh, let's see, series. So what I can do is run uh, 50,000 volts through here and should be okay. Otherwise I was running 25,000 volts, all three of them in series, or in parallel, excuse me, and I was having issues. Now I have a safety gap. This is merely, uh, this is an adjustable, these are brass balls I got, yes, brass balls, uh, for the uh, the front of, uh, I believe they go in lamps, they're, they're like the top holders or whatever. Now I made a little uh, adjustable brackets, I silver soldered the uh, ends on there. I got this on here so you can kind of flip it open and make adjustments. That's just so I don't touch it. But uh, you can adjust the safety gap depending on the voltage you're playing with and the ambient air. You can calculate that out. If anybody knows any good calculators to calculate air gap and high voltage, let me know. I couldn't really find any online, so send me a link on that. But uh, there's my safety box transformer. I'll probably mount these together. Uh, these are internally connected, and they're internally connected on the back side everything's internally connected so I don't have to worry about it easily can uh, easily take this apart but uh, it's a closed box so hopefully I may even run some more screws in there but hopefully that won't explode like last time um, and if it does I won't be standing next to it alright next up on the line ta da this is a split gas cell um, a guy by the name of Bill Williams actually built this. It is his. He is letting me use it. And I am psyched. Um, and basically what this is, I don't have it hooked up, but I will be mounting it on this nice board and all this stuff. But the oxygen will come out of this tank. The hydrogen will come out of this tank. And I can separate on the fly. I hook power up right here to these rails. You got a bunch of plates here. And there's a membrane material in here. And what that is, is rip stop. Uh, nylon rip stop. Uh, I will put the link to the uh, to Bill Williams' uh, YouTube so you can see this. You can actually see him building this particular one. He's built a better and uh, more beefy one, so he's letting me use this one. And uh, Bill, it's a blessing, buddy. All you people out there who are inputting your information or thoughts or material, it's a blessing. Thank you all. But uh, it's really cool. Um, I believe, yeah, I'm not going to quote the liters per minute, but it's a decent amount. But uh, these are probably all upside down. I just put them together for a quick second. I got to order some uh, some electrolyte and then mix it and put it in here. I'm going to mount it to this board, make it all nice so I can carry it around and not have to worry about tubes falling off and stuff. So, Bill, thanks, buddy. Uh, and I got one more thing to show you besides the EPG still sitting here. Check this out. You guys will like this. This is a test run. This is not a finished version. Um, a guy by the name of Mike Powers, which most of you know. I will also put the YouTube description. Look for that. Uh, I'll put his link in there too, his YouTube channel. But Mike Powers 420, I believe. But uh, he sent this to me um, as well as these LEDs. These are infrared uh, or I'm sorry, they are uh, UV LEDs. I believe they're 105 nanometers. Uh, there's 25 of them here, and I will be building a small hydrogen gas gun with these and uh, trying that out with my um, gas core transformer over there. But basically, this might be hard to see, but this is hollow. 
Um, I tapped and threaded this end. It is supposed to have another end like this, but this was a trial run, and uh, it is just it was merely just to uh, play with because it's it's not perfect. Um, and we're gonna well, Mike is gonna build a tumbler to tumble the mold so that this evenly coats the inside. As you can see there, it's not very good um, because of the not having a tumbler. But uh, he basically built the whole thing and then I threaded the end real quick. See if I can get a focus on that. There's a pipe thread on the end of that. And I drilled a hole in the end of it so you can get air or uh, gas or whatever in there. And then it'll have another plastic uh, pipe thread on this side just like this one but for now I had to drill and tap one and glue one in there just to experiment. This is just for experimentation. Um, the, if this melts down I'm not going to feel too bad because it's it, it was a test run. It's a shame to let it go to uh, to waste just because it was a test run because it does uh, it is hollow on the inside and I can put gases or uh, ferro fluid or hey I got a little mercury laying around maybe I can just uh, Maybe I can stick it in there. Now, what do you think about that? Put a little mercury in there. Give it a little pulse. Pulse. Maybe something will blow up. <laughs> my luck, it will. Anyway, I'm pretty stoked about all this. Getting my new lab set up. Getting this coil wrapped. Um, I still have to um, clean up the wire for those, which is the same as those. Still got it in here. Haven't cleaned them up. Got them all nice and ready to go. But I still got to straighten them. So, that was 10 minutes of your life. Gone. Gone forever. You can't get it back. I appreciate you letting me uh, lecture to you, if you will. But uh, this is Russ from rwgresearch.com. Please, please, please invite people over to the forums. That is uh, open-source-energy.org. Uh, but it's connected to my website. So if you just give them that, they can get there from there. Um, but... We need people to come over, um, everybody that's working on this stuff that isn't really publicly showing this but is willing to talk about it, uh, come on over and join the forums. Russ, RWG Research, y'all have a wonderful evening and uh, what can I say, life is busy, things are interesting and I'm doing the best that I possibly can. As you can tell I've got a lot of things going on all at once and this is about 3% of my life, <laughs> so uh, maybe a little more. But anyway, this Russ, have a good night. Peace.